Trust me. Gosh, I am sweet and innocent, I completely promise. However, I should warn you if you go any further, gosh, some of the creatures you may encounter. I said, unlike some of the other creatures, things, ghouls and ghosts that you may find in the depths of the forest, I am here to help you, okay? I'm going to be nice. You can trust me. But we have to do things my way here, okay? I am what some call a a witch. Don't look scared. Gosh, it always gets the same reaction. Please don't be predictable, my darling. Okay, so it's fine. I'm just going to have to do a little something so I can be content with having you here, alright? That will start with a cleanse, so you can just stay right where you are. Just allow me. Okay. I'm going to be doing something called a cleanse. And this is for your benefit and for mine. So, there we go. This is just to cleanse your energy. Make sure you're not bringing anything bad into my home, okay? And we're doing this. Yes, I'm completely fine with you being here, because I know that I'm not letting anything or anyone bad, okay, into my home. You do not understand quite what I mean, do you? <laughs> the thing is, my love, is that Good and evil energy can travel through us, and we may not even be aware quite of what we're carrying, but it can affect us deeply. So what I'm doing is giving you a cleanse, and just cleansing the aura. So, I know that you don't have any negativity attached to you now, alright? <laughs> okay. So. Is there anything I can do to help you feel more um, at home? Because that's what I would like. Mm -hmm. Was that 
You, you don't feel too well? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Well, what I could muster up is some sort of potion, let's just say. Mm, no. Let me see what I can do. Can you um, explain to me exactly how you are feeling? Is it some sort of headache or... Oh, okay. Yes, of course. <laughs> I can do anything to make you feel better, alright? Understand? And of course you can trust me. Don't worry about that. Okay. Let me get a couple of different things that I'm going to need to create this for you. Um, if you could go perhaps into a little bit more detail into what you are exactly feeling. Okay. Headache towards the front of your head. I see. I see. Okay, so I need a little bit of that. And how strong is this headache? Mm -hmm. Okay. Put a little bit of something else in there as well then to make sure that this really, really works for you, okay? Like I said, you can trust me. All of my potions are for good. I don't do anything naughty here, okay? It's all of your benefit. Why would I want to harm a single soul? And this is a potion, okay? Just out. Yes, that should be enough for you. Drink it. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. All right. Well, I'll put it there for you. And I'd recommend just taking it as quickly as possible. It um, doesn't have the most uh, lovely taste, but it'll help you. Oh, I don't have anything like paracetamol or whatever you just said. No, no, no. We don't do anything like that. Not here. No. That is so much better, I can guarantee you. And I've never even tried this paracetamol, whatever you call it, but you do not need that. That is what you need. Okay? Alright, my love. Just take a little sip. That is going to do you so, 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 so much good. Alright. I also have um, some crystals that may be helpful to you. Well, amethyst is one of my favourites. Because the thing is, I am... Um, I find it to be incredibly relaxing. But also, um, I happen to love the colour purple, so it is a massive bonus. <laughs> so, if you pop that under your pillow tonight, then that should really help ease any more anxiety or headaches that you are um, currently experiencing, okay? So I'm just going to put that there. 
do be careful with that. Put it right under your pillow. Okay? <laughs> well. How did you find the taste of the drink? Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. <laughs> you seem... You seem like a very nice person. Why, why are you here? I mean, the sort of people that come here are usually in search for ghouls or vampires or something supernatural, but you don't seem to be looking for any kind of trouble. Hmm. You just went on a walk. That went on a little bit too long. How funny. Because we are miles and miles and miles away right now from the nearest town. Gosh, can you hear that rain outside? Of course, yes, like I said, you're welcome to stay tonight. You can have your very own room. Well, I say your own room. Um, I do own cats. Um, you are not allergic, no. Okay, good. I was going to say, if you were, I have also another potion for that as well. <laughs> but, great. I, I'm glad you like them. Um, I have 15, so you will be um, sharing a room with 15 cats. I hope you don't mind that. It's better than being outside. Absolutely. You would not reach the town. By gosh... By morning. No. Hmm. Well, I've lived here for, gosh, how many years? <laughs> Centuries. <laughs> hmm. Don't look too alarmed. I have my ways of uh, staying around, if you know what I mean. Mm hmm. Yes, I forgot to say that that little potion I gave you may also cause you to experience some tiredness. Are you, um, are you feeling sleepy at the moment? <laughs> you are. Okay. You're not ready for bed? Well, in that case, I could always entertain you with a thing or two. I take it you've never met a witch before? Ah, oh, the rain. It's getting heavier. I think you may have to stay here for longer than one night. There is no way you could get public transport back to the main town. <laughs> walking and risking it all, or else. Anyway, as I was saying, you've never met a witch before, no? Well, let me, um, do a few little things to entertain you, yes? I have my crystal pool, I have my tarot cards. What would you like, huh? crystal ball. <laughs> well, this thing. This thing is quite a precious, precious thing to me. I actually um, rarely use this way of fortune telling on um, other people, mainly because <laughs> I hardly ever meet any other people these days, but I can see what um, is going on inside here that tells me what's going to happen in your future, huh? What do you think? Will it be good? Will it be bad? I must warn you, it will tell you the good, the bad, and the very ugly, so you ready for this? Crystal ball, crystal ball, crystal ball. Tell 
tell me what is going to happen in the future for my dear feel about this, but I think you're going to be getting quite familiar with your current surroundings. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about living in the forest yourself? <laughs> Interesting. But you say no because I'm seeing something quite different. Don't be alarmed. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. I see someone. Not you, someone else. Someone else is going to come out here and find you. Can you think who that could possibly be? Interesting. Do you think? What is that? What happens when you leave the forest? Shall I ask my crystal ball? shall happen to my dear, dear guest once they leave the forest. <laughs> well, How do I put this? You will be here for a while. It could always be something positive, though. Because you may find love in the forest. Huh? Now, wouldn't that be nice? Although that isn't something I'm seeing. You never know, right? Um... Tell me some more, tell me some more, tell me some more. The crystal ball is struggling. It's unusual. Hmm. Well, it's okay. You don't need to worry. Because anything the crystal ball cannot tell me, I can figure out with my tarot cards. Okay. Have you ever seen these before? <laughs> well, let me tell you, these are my favourite way of finding out the future.
the moon. You've got the moon. What does the moon mean? So, for this, I will tell you things aren't quite what they may seem to be. So, basically, don't trust anyone. They are all keeping a secret from you. Apart from me, of course. As I said already, you can trust me. But, I tell you now, this card means that something is going to be a little, little bit of a, um, of an illusion. But you will see the light, and it'll come here clear to you who you should and shouldn't have trusted. I, um, I feel like this card is the perfect representation, really, of the forest. <laughs> because it is a little bit of a, um, a labyrinth of sorts. <laughs> Let's try a, another card, yeah? Do some shuffling. See what else is going on. Something positive, hopefully. Oh, um, what a shame! The devil. Mm, this, uh, this isn't necessarily a bad card. It can actually be a little bit of fun, depending what you're into. Um. I would say for this one, please don't, 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 don't give in to temptation. <laughs> Unless you're willing to take all consequences. And one more, shall we say? Just two. Just to round this all up. <laughs> You're not sure if you like tarot anymore? What did you say? <sighs> tarot, it's like the crystal ball. You, you may get messages you don't want to hear, but they are always what you need to hear. Do you understand? A little bit of a shuffle. A little bit of a shuffle. Would you like a cup of tea, by the way? No? Okay. You're looking a little bit scared now. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will result in a happy ending. Let's see what we've got. Wheel of Fortune. You're going to get a lucky escape. I knew it. I told you it would be a happy ending. You are going to be fine. You may have to encounter some certain um, difficulties along the way, whether that be getting a little bit lost or meeting someone you shouldn't trust. But you are going to be absolutely fine. It's the lucky card. Mm. 
that is all I can tell you. I'm afraid there is nothing else I can really do. But I can give you I can give you a little crystal. This is a rose quartz and this can attract friendship, love and just the right people. So if I give this to you they should hopefully come along quicker to be your knight in shining armor, shall we say. <laughs> it's getting quite late, right? Hmm. I've done all my fortune telling that I can. But I'm a witch. And I can tell you something else, just from my own knowledge and experience of many years of the craft and a little bit of intuition of my own. You can stay here for as long as you want, but at one point you are going to want to brave the outside world and continue your quest home, or perhaps further into the forest, whatever you decide. Be careful, okay? You can always come back here, but I do not want you bringing along any of the strange neighbours that I have, or any of their energy. You will eventually get out just fine. I know it. Maybe someone will help you. Maybe I'll just be your own soul guiding you along the way. You will get out. But my warning is, be careful. Alright? Now, I'm going to turn for the night. Just got him couple of things I need to tend to with my cauldron and then I'm going to be nodding off to sleep, okay? You're looking very, very tired. Yes, that, um, that potion, it is so, so good and relaxing, relaxing, relaxing you, isn't it? I hope my feline friends do to keep you up. It's nice to have company, actually. Anyway, I shall go to bed. I can see you as sleepy, 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 sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy. Oh dear. So, Good night, good night, my love. And if you need anything, just let me know, okay? You'll be fine.